Okay, here's the full setup. All those cables will go away once we get everything set up. This is our uh, IFB, uh, our light board, which we're getting replaced with a DMX to USB to be controlled by uh, a control computer. Um, this, these three monitors are for the TriCaster. This one currently has a bad HDMI cable. I have to replace that. Uh, for audio control, we have the uh, little guy there, the X-Touch Compact. And then I've got two stream decks. This one's set up for our live shows right now. And this controls a lot of stuff here. So I've got like confidence monitors um, and the onset monitor. I can change those. Uh, let's see, I've got my timers all set up here so I can queue in my times. Uh, these are all macros that do, you know, set up shows for different things live, like that. Uh, my recording, I can choose which, which ones I want to record, which cameras or program feeds, uh, or I can clear them all, and then I just start recording right there. Turns red, record stop. Uh, oh, it's mm, Those timer buttons, plus and minus, are supposed to be in the timer button here, anyway. I can start, pause, and reset it. So, yep. And this one here is where my setup for my show. Uh, these are all the different uh, compositions I've built. Camera one, camera two, two up. It's graphics, graphics with two cameras. Um, and I have a full screen video playback also. The graphics, they're controlled through here, through a uh, web key. So these are all, there's 12 different presets. And uh, you'll notice as I go to my buffers here, um, and change here, they change all the way through. Seven, eight, nine. Um, so those does that one and does this one here. So it enables me to be able to do, um, go to my graphic, let me focus for you here. So going to my graphic there, we'll focus. Come on. Anyway, um, then go to a smaller graphic that has it on the side, but still has their two cameras up, just to try to make it, uh, you know, more engaging for the audience. But that is the current Jerusalem setup right now. Um, oh yeah, and so I run the timer through uh, Iris Countdown, or Iris Down Countdown Timer. While that's coming up, um, I'll show you here. We have the teleprompter. I can it here. Um, it's controlled with the Shuttle Express. So I can either move it like that or spin this dial and it will roll uh, automatically. And I can control the speed of it, speed it up, or just the jog dial. If I let it go, it stops. But it's very nice. Here's the countdown timer which comes into my second display to my TriCaster. Um, so that gives me the timer, I'm on the time right there. Uh, this is actually sent out over uh, the network uh, to an iPad. So over here, we've got an iPad, they're off right now, but uh, this iPad is the timer. And this iPad here actually is the teleprompter. Um, the teleprompter is sent over NDI so I've got an Ethernet connector because it's too Wi-Fi is way too slow. So Ethernet adapter, and I run the teleprompter on here via NDI. And uh, yep, uh, everything can, that's controlling all the interconnections is central control right here. Uh, I've got the TC2, I have companion which I'm not currently using anymore. Uh, I couldn't get it to work together. Countdown timer. Uh, my X touch compact, two stream decks, and then oh yeah, the X keys uh, T bar, which I'm still configuring for the correct setup. But currently, there's the main cameras, program preview, um, auto take, and then uh, these are going to be my MEs that I'm working on right now. So that is the current Jerusalem studio setup.